Hey, it's Steve and welcome to my shop. Now, as somebody who, who does making things for, for a living, uh, I sometimes forget that not everybody is an experienced maker or has a, a revenue generating side hustle. Sometimes makers are just new into this experience. Sometimes they're children, sometimes, you know, maybe it's an adult who's just kind of getting into this and doesn't really know what to do. And that's where, where something like this comes in. This is the Kokoni EC1 3D printer. It's tiny, but it packs a punch. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why you might wanna consider one of these if you have a child that maybe wants to become a maker or maybe you just wanna dabble in this yourself. And with that, let's get started. All right, so if you're used to a typical 3D printer, then you probably appreciate that there are big frameworks that tend to have workspaces that are 200 millimeters square or more, a couple hundred millimeters in height, and they tend to be hot, noisy, somewhat dangerous because, because they're, they tend to be open and they're really not designed for, for a very first time user or a child if, if you have somebody who's maybe in the 10 to 12 year old range. Now by contrast, this EC1 is what I would call a bookshelf printer. It's small, compact, self-sufficient, self so there's not a lot of things hanging off the side. Uh, inside, you can see the workspace there. It's 100 by 100 by 58 millimeters. The print head is there. Pretty typical bits and pieces for a 3D printer. And then the filament sits in these cartridges uh, on the back. Now, as I mentioned, all of the software is installed on your phone and you start from this dashboard where you can do things like select the printer you have configured. And you can see here, you can do things like changing the filament. Uh, back on the dashboard, you can also get access to help and there's useful videos and some documentation here. Uh, and down below, there's some, some models to get you started. You can just pick one of those or you can select that more models button down below and choose from a library of hundreds of them. Uh, and then when you're ready to create, you can, you can pick this screen and I'll talk more about some of these features because there's actually some really cool capabilities here and things honestly that will set even this little printer apart from some of the big ones. So starting with something simple, I'll just pick something from the library and I'll scroll down and just find something. And we have this nice little garden gnome here so I can pick him. And really all you have to do is hit print. It takes you to what the workspace looks like and you can see you can change the scale and rotate and do those sorts of things. And when you're ready, you can just hit start printing and you're ready to go. Now, once you start printing, it works just like any other 3D printer. Uh, you can see it does a, a, a brim down at the bottom and the final output after, in this case, an hour and a bit was a really, really nice looking print. And I was shocked actually at how nice the quality was. Now with the basic printing done, things that every other printer can do, we can start to have a little fun here and really show off why this little 3D printer is, is better in a lot of ways. I can go to the, the advanced uh, creation and I can create an avatar of myself. And it's as simple as taking a, a selfie and you can see it's framing me there with a bit of AI. I take my snapshot and sorry about the selfie, the original is just not that good. But uh, once you have it there, you can just hit start and it does a bit of processing and it goes on for a couple of minutes and comes up with uh, a 3D shape that purports to be me. Uh, I guess it looks more like me than anything else, but uh, after that, it's really just doing a, a standard 3D print so you can size and scale and do all those sorts of things. And when you're happy, you can hit the print button. And once it's printed, we can take a quick look at Mini Me here. Actually not too bad, all things considered. There's one little splotch on my, on my cheek there, but uh, overall it looks pretty decent. So other things we can do is we can certainly upload our own models. Now that basically means put them up on Kokoni's site and, and load them from there. We can also do a much more advanced 3D image where we take up to 25 shots all around the image. And finally, we can do a drawing. And in this case, uh, we persuade the tool into, into recognizing that whatever we draw is some kind of car. And I can draw something really terrible there. And when it goes off and processes it, it'll come out and it will look something like a car and you can do kind of cool stuff like that. So, uh, so that's the, 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 the AI portion of the software. It's actually really cool. There's some neat things it can do and, and uh, you know, you'll probably enjoy some of this. So the Kokoni EC1 is as good a printer as I've ever seen. The print quality here is excellent. And 
in addition to that, there are a few features that make this printer stand alone. First of all, it's completely assembled out of the box. You don't really have to do anything but drop it on a desk, plug it in and install some software on your phone and everything else is kind of taken care of for you. Kind of along that vein, even just using the printer on a day-to-day -day basis requires absolute minimal expertise. So if you're a very early stage maker, uh, maybe you've never used a 3D printer before, maybe you have some kids and they just want to start making things on their own, they can do this. There's really no, no danger here. The printer kind of looks after everything they could possibly want to do. And along with that with that overall quality of the printer the software that they provide is good it's got some really nice ai features to to create for you and everything is push button so it's literally a case of selecting a shape and hitting the print button and then watching it print so uh, very nice overall okay so there there were a couple of things i think they could improve here as well or at least improve your experience with the kokoni ec1 uh, first is the use of these filament cartridges now, I know why they're using them. They're trying to keep you sheltered from any complexity, and they've done a great job at that, honestly. But if you're not mechanically inclined, you're gonna end up having to always buy your filament from Kokoni. It's really good filament, but you're probably paying a, a bit of a premium for that, for that filament cartridge. Now, you can crack these things open. There's five screws on the box and on, on, the, on the bottom, and you can slice the QR code and you can just open these up and you can see I did one here. It's just a spool full of fil filament. Now you will have to wind your own filament on there and it will be most likely need to be PLA. So, you know, there are some restrictions, but at the very least you could wind your own and PLA is really the most common filament, especially when you're just starting out as a maker. Uh, next on the list here, you will very quickly, I think, find that the bed here is a bit small. Uh, at 100 by 100 by 58, you're going to be able to do some interesting things. You'll certainly be able to design something and print it. And, you know, if you're new or you, your kids are playing around, they're going to love this, honestly. Uh, but the bed isn't heated and, and it is small and you're going to run into, into some walls there pretty quickly uh, and you will end up upgrading to a larger printer if you really like doing the whole maker bit. Uh, and finally, this system is really closed and it's intentionally closed so it's not like they're purposely trying to keep you locked in. Uh, they're trying to make it very easy to use and they've honestly done a fantastic job at that. But growing as a maker very quickly, I think you're going to want to adopt uh, maybe a, a, your, another slicer and you won't be able to do it with this printer. So you're going to have to at some point get a, a, another 3D printer. So the Kokoni EC1 is honestly a fantastic printer. Uh, it's great if you're a brand new maker or a maker wannabe. It's great if you have kids and you want to get them into this whole maker experience. And I'll put an affiliate link down below if you want to pick one of these up, uh, you know, use that link and you'll help out the channel. I'll also put a video up above, which is maybe the next thing you should watch here if you want to see maybe how this compares to a, to a more complex 3D printer. Uh, you'll certainly see that this one is far easier to use. And with that, uh, we can wind down. So get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.